step up authentication with risk. In many cases, sensitive applications or areas within an application may require a higher level of protection and an additional authentication step. CA SiteMinder can enact various types of authentication to ensure the right level of security across web applications and that the high-value resources are protected by stronger authentication methods. In this use case, we demonstrate how CA SiteMinder can enforce step-up authentication when the user attempts to access a more sensitive application. In this case, this is accomplished via integration with CA AuthMinder, an advanced authentication solution which can add stronger two-factor identity assurance to CA SiteMinder protected web applications. Jennifer Smith, a Forward Inc. customer, logs into Forward Inc. website to access the client portal application. Jennifer wants to access her account details page. This area is considered more secure than the rest of the customer portal, and step-up authentication will be required. Forward Inc. has chosen two-factor authentication, requiring Jennifer to authenticate with both, something she has, in this case her RCOT ID, and something she knows, in this case her RCOT PIN. Jennifer can successfully access the page and has the option to update her details as well. Jennifer scrolls down on the account details page and clicks on update. An account update page contains an even more sensitive links allowing to change user profile information. Jennifer can enter any updates and submit the changes. CA SiteMinder advanced authentication features can enable Forward Inc. to associate a risk level with every action. The risk level takes into consideration the content behind the requested website and contextual parameters such as location of the user, user's recent history, user's device, size and type of the transaction. Because Jennifer is logged in into her account details page from a recognized machine and location, and this is consistent with her regular activity, updating her account information did not hit any risk thresholds, and she was allowed seamless access to make her modifications. However, let's see what happened when Jennifer connects to a remote desktop located in China and tries to complete the same steps. Jennifer logs in into the portal and completes the steps she completed previously, clicks on the account details link, enters RCOT ID username, JSmith, and RCOT ID PIN in order to gain access to account details. Scrolls down on the account details page and clicks on update. However, the option to update account details is protected by a transparent, real-time risk analysis.